Well, this is such a great story. When literature teacher Simon Brown told his third form students that he would once again be their instructor for this year because he was teaching them from first form. The students, I am told, Simon said this, so we know certain of his true. We're ecstatic. But he's here with us, um, literature teacher at St. George's College, accompanied by Antoine Bygrave and Case Mitchell. And they're both in 3C, uh, which is grade 9, no, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. coach. Yes, All right, coach. hold on. You have to do a push up. Hold on. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'll tell you why that, that happened later on. All right, back up. <laughs> All right, so Case is with me, Antoine. Antoine by Gave. Antoine, that's how it's pronounced. And of course, that's uh, Sir over there. They can, this call, is, this is they can call him Sir, but they, can't, they have to call me Coach, which is why he did the push up. It's a, it's a fun thing that we do at St. George's College. Morning, everyone. Morning, Welcome. Coach. I'm going to start with you, Case. Um, so, Sir, you've been teaching this from first form. Yes, Tell me a little bit about Sir. Um, Sir is a fun teacher. He's a teacher that you can have a conversation with, like bring your problems to. So that's why I think we were very excited to have him back. Yeah. He surprised you, Antoine. You didn't know you were going to get him back in third form. Honestly, sir, I didn't know I was going to get him back right. in third form. I'm so sorry again. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Stop saying sir. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to ease you up. But you, you don't have to do it anymore this morning. But you didn't know you were going to get back? No, coach. Oh, oh no, you said coach. <laughs> what, 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 what kind of surprise when you saw him walked in? How, how did you feel? I was so elated. He's a teacher that knows your strength and weaknesses. He knows your talent and he will always tell you, don't waste your talent. There's a better life out there. His teaching ways are impressive. It's not like normal teachers. You know, basic things like those when he comes in the classroom, if we're tired, he doesn't just start off with the work. He warms up our mind with some football questions, some trivia, some things like that. And I notice him, as we look at that, you catch people sleeping in the class. And <laughs> I'll, I'll wake them up. <laughs> Yeah, man, that, that way, because I'm afraid of getting caught on the, on the video, some of them stay awake after that. <laughs> How does that make you feel when you heard your two students just know and what happened when you walked in? How does that make you feel? It's, it's a great feeling. To be honest, what was interesting about this class specifically is I had them, their first year was all online. Um, they would even remember that I used to call them Avengers. We actually used to close the, the online meeting with Wakanda Forever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right, and that was something that I thought was good to kind of get them into the mood. I, I like using modern things to teach the, the class itself. Where does that style come from? I'm not even sure. I just know that when I started teaching, I had a hard time re re um, relating the content to students. And I say, you know what, if I start comparing it to the movie that is out now, if I compare poetry to a song that they know, I feel like that would make them not only pay attention, but then they would understand. And it's something that I kept with me throughout my teaching years. Yeah. You know, um, so having them online, and then the year after now, I kind of asked if I could get 2C, because that was 1C, and I asked if I could get 2C, and they agreed, I had them half online, and then we all went back into the classroom in January. And it was actually almost emotional, because I told them I don't usually teach third form, you know, so this is it. And everybody was just like, all right, well, I guess this is what a games day for the last day. And I remember saying to them that, you know, when well, I saying to them, saying to those who organized the timetable, they had asked me to teach third form. And I said, the only way I teach third form is if I get 3C. And you got 3C. And I got 3C. What about passes? Uh, what about passes, percentage of passes in literature? In well, I haven't, I haven't calculated the percentage because, you know, um, CSEC is really where they calculate that. But for the most part, the kids pass my classes. And I think the, 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 way that, the reason that happens is because they're intrigued by the material. Yeah. You know? Um, Antoine, I don't want you to compare him to other teachers because I don't want you to get yourself in trouble. Um, <laughs> but you do well in other subjects, I suspect. Yes, sir. I do very well in other subjects. You know you owe me. It's all right. But you can't sit down with you owe me. I'm <laughs> yes, sir, not, I'm not, I get it. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I get it. Um, and, and the same, same with you. You do yeah. well in, in, in other. Is literature your, I, I guess, sir, is yours. You're probably ever going to say yes, but is it's literature one, your favorite? It's, one, it's of, one of your favorite subjects. Same it's with one you. of my top subjects as well, sir. Yeah. I right. start to deal with critical thinking, and I like to think a lot. Oh, you like to think a lot? Yes, sir. 
what you want to be when you leave school? I like to be a track and field athlete. And, you know, when I get the money. Professionally? Yes, sir. Okay. What, what, what discipline do you do? Mm. The amount that push up the money you're going to do when it's done. Track and field, I do 100 and 200. 100 and 200? Yeah. You're going to go champs? Yes, sir. You're going to win? Of course right? I'm going to win. <laughs> Post coach, I'm going to win. See, KSR. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the amount of push up, KSA <laughs> gonna do. The man can't remember me saying, Coach, what about you? What are you gonna do? Um, I want to become a lawyer, but if, if football doesn't work out, obviously I'm, I'm going to be a lawyer. My father's already a lawyer, so I want to continue the legacy. Yeah, and your father went to St. George's College also? Yes, yes Coach. So did your father kind of push you in there or no? You didn't? Not really, but. I wanted to go to St. George's College. No, I mean with the lawyer thing. Because them say lawyer chat plenty. You chat plenty? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> sir, him chat plenty? Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, so it work out. <laughs> um, where do you go from here? You're going to follow them to fourth form and fifth form and sixth form? Well, in fourth form, the class is split up anyways. You know, it, it's split up into the amount of subjects. I mean, to be honest, I feel like what the, the, the groundwork that I've done with them, they should be fine now. You know, Fort Farm is a more mature time in their life, so they should be fine. I just was elated enough to have them again. For Why are you still in Jamaica? Because every teacher go for in because the, the money is not good and I'm told and all kinds of stuff. And I'm being serious. Why, why have you decided well, to stay? to be honest, it's not without trying. I have tried to, to go away, but certain things didn't work out. You do find that for language and literature, the demand, in my experience, hasn't been that high. However, there are, I'm part-time, I'm a part-time teacher. So there are other things that I'm doing um, career-wise that I'm working on. Yeah. So to go, to, to go away just to teach wasn't that, um, wasn't that enticing. And I have a mission that I want to do with teaching, which is why I came at part-time. Okay. He's a videographer, he's a basketball coach, and he's helped St. George's College in both areas. And number one teacher, as you just saw. See my child and say, no, yeah, don't no, sir. I should not have said that video. No, sir, you should. <laughs> you don't look so good. You don't look so good. Congrats. Congrats. It is, it is huge for youngsters um, to look up to, to adults these days, and especially a teacher, because some people might say, oh, Peter won't work. I'm going to give you too much work, and I don't like him. So it's, it's brilliant. Right. Antoine, good to see you. It's good to see you too, coach. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> he said, thank you. No, no. Oi, you went to some push up at seven times. He said, so you have seven push up. <laughs> Literature teacher Simon Brown, third form St. George's College students, Antoine Bygrave, and Case Mitchell. Ad maiorum dei gloriam, which means? For the greater glory of God. We soon come. <laughs> seven. Seven. We're going for a coffee break. When we come back, I'm, I'm still at the push up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And, the, and, and, and coach was unfair because he keeps saying, sir, push up. We, we soon come. <laughs> we have seven too.